Does she love me? Real trust is thin on the ground. Would she tell me? Or would that be breaking promises? Set to embark on a New Zealand tour this summer, Marlon Williams sits down with the Herald to discuss acting, the magic of music, and the sweet way he started getting his songwriting out into the world. Hello, Lily. How are we? I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm very well. My Boy is your third album, and it's already a huge hit. It's reached number one on the top 40. Can you tell us a little bit about it? What was the inspiration? Well, the last record I made was a sort of infamously a breakup record. Um, and I think I just wanted to uh, have a bit of fun. You know, this is a it's a light record. It's, a, it's very playful. There's... It's, I, been listening to a lot of uh, Don't take at the sort of notion. 80s disco and things like that, and it just I yeah, just all of those sort of flavours um, are across oh, the record. No. Where would you say is the most interesting place you found inspiration? Well, it's it's always interesting when when inspiration strikes because you never quite. It always hits me when I'm least expecting it. When I was growing up, I worked at a dairy and down in Littleton, and um, I. Swear I was the most prolific as a songwriter when I was working when I was on shift working at the dairy. I'd just have like my I'd be like making dollar mixtures and have all my lolly bags there with a pen. I'd just be like. Uh, in terms of artists, growing up, who did you admire most? I was a, a total Beatles fanatic. Um, Beatles and Elvis, you know, very um, very classic stuff. Uh, my dad was always put a lot of that kind of music in front of me, so um, me and I really took to it from a young age. Um, and it's, you know, I still have that thing where every year I have to go and listen to the Beatles entire catalogue from start to finish and go, oh, that's what you do. That's, that's how you do I it. That's why I love that song. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, um, it's, yeah, it's an eternal well to go back and dip into. Um, each show that you have coming up, Next in the summer, you have a different opening act for each one. How did you pick them? I, I mean, the Christchurch one. So I chose the Cathedral of the Blessed Sacrament Choir because I used to sing in that choir when I was in my teens and in my early 20s. Um, and it was really how I cut my teeth um, a, you know, as a singer. Um, so that was a, that's a really specifically special one for me to do because it's, you know, and I'll, hopefully I'll get to get up and sing with them. And, Sing some Mozart or whatever, and fingers crossed. Yeah. Um, so there's that, and then you know, singing with, with Delaney down in Dunedin, who I've collaborated a lot with. Um, he's sort of my uh, my big brother in music. So um, it's and then yeah, I mean obviously a wonderful Nadia Reid and Vera Allen up in Auckland. I mean it's just I'm in a nice spot where I can ask people I, whose music I love to come and join me and. It's, uh, it's one of the best perks of the job, you know, to, to like have a party that you can invite your friends to. <laughs> you, during the break when you were through COVID and everything, you went and filmed A Star Is Born. Mm. Yeah, how was that? What was it like working with Bradley Cooper? Oh, it's amazing. It's, Bradley's uh, just, yeah, he's a stellar auteur. He, can, he does it all. He even learned how to sing better than I can. No. He, he did, he did. Is that possible? I, yeah. He, <laughs> in the studio, because he, he was the music, music producer too, he came in and he's just like, just sing it like this. And he's saying, I'm like, you asshole. I learned how to sing from Bradley Cooper. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> Not everyone can say that. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> what was it like working on a Hollywood film? Like, how did they take to your laid back Kiwi persona? Um, well, I. I gradually realised that I think that was why they'd hired me. You know, it's, I didn't, I wasn't sure what I was getting myself into at the beginning, and I didn't even know if I was meant to have a accent or anything. You know, so I just sort of went in so cold, and then I was like, okay, I'll just be me and see what happens. <laughs> and then they're like, yeah, that's that's the one. Like you're like, you're really interesting. <laughs> <laughs> you're like great. Oh, that's just, it's just easy from New work. Zealand. For all your fans coming to see you this summer, do you have a message for them? Hmm. I would say to all my fans coming to see me this summer that, um, I don't know, it's hard in my let's, let's have a party, let's, let's um, have a silly time and, and uh, connect with each other and, and uh, yeah, and I've, I've got a, as we discussed, I've got a whole host of amazing opening acts to come, up, you know, to come and see, so get in early um, and be quiet when it's appropriate. <laughs> and clap when you should. <laughs> clap when you should. And don't if you don't want to. Exactly.
could. They will though. Oh no, the Kiwis. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for sitting down with us today. Thanks, Lily. Trouble now. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel to stay up to date with all the latest news from the New Zealand Herald. Click the subscribe button below or check out one of the videos here and head over to nzherald.co.nz for more details on these stories and more.